woman that will listen to him, he'll say any goddamn thing out of his mouth as long as she fucking listen. Because like I said earlier in the stream, he gets validation from the big ass drag. He gets validation from the broke bitch. He gets validation from the old bitch that's been ran through. It don't matter the fucking hyenas, the sucky bitch. Anybody that will fucking listen, he don't say what's wrong or right. You gotta be right. Stand in your truth. You gotta do that. Any woman that's around you supposed to be learning. You an alpha, you a sigma male. You a masculine man. A woman's supposed to be learning constantly. That's what we do. When women marry men, we 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 already know that we want to learn. Well, I don't know about today. I know old school, back in the days when you had a husband, that was a good thing. Nowadays, bitches are all out of whack. I don't know. I can't even talk about the, the new generation. New generation, y'all fucked up. I feel bad for you, bro. I do. Because these bitches have no substance. They don't. They don't have no substance. And that's why I talk so much about the beta male. Because when you're younger and you're a man and you're dealing with a strag, she will get you in a beta male mindset. And there you go, building a record, fighting little young ass niggas. There you go, fighting a bitch because you all in your feelings about the pussy. It's for your young ass too, nigga. You better listen up. You 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, all of that. You shouldn't even be dealing with a woman. You shouldn't have a girlfriend. Your focus should be your body, your money, and your goals. That's it. That's it. When you are a young man, you should only focus on that. What your parents say, working, having a little job, focusing on building your body, building your confidence, your body and you building your life. That's going to build your confidence as a man. And it's going to teach you wrong from right. Listening to your mother, even if your mama a bitch, just listen to her because you're in her house and you becoming a man. And she's trying to deal with her, her little son is becoming a man. So she still see you as a child. So a lot of women will baby your fucking ass. The mother, we do that shit. We'll baby the fuck out your ass. Cause we some women don't recognize that you are a man, a grown man. But if you are young, you should only be focused on your money. You should be focusing on your body. You should not be worrying about what them hoes doing at your school. You should be worried about parties at college. You should be resting, getting ready to go make your next class to make a fucking A, so you can pass. That's it. Because any men in this chat would say if they can go back when they were younger, they would not be focusing on them goddamn hoes. They would have started their journey when they were younger. It's some real shit. You're going to get all of that when you become that amazing man. If you stay on that journey as a young man, by the time you hit 30, you will be a fucking monster. You will be a... No, you... You will be so off the chain, it will be crazy. Because then you will understand and have the mindset of a masculine man. Because you actually took time and went on that journey. It gets harder and harder every year for a man and a woman. Because you get older. You get older, our metabolism slows up. And we don't want to, it's harder. But when you're young and the ball is in your court. You're supposed to drive that motherfucker like it's no tomorrow. And understand what's wrong and right. Distancing yourself from your toxic ass beta friends. And why the fuck are your pants hanging? Young men with their pants hanging. That's a sign of homosexuality. You have a father. You wear a fucking belt. Real quick. And I know this is off topic. But... You know, I'm not going to even go there. But let's get back on topic because I was about to take this shit somewhere else. <laughs> I was about to break down some other shit. But he leans on the validation of any woman that would listen. It don't matter. It don't matter if she's toxic. It don't matter if she got HIV. It don't matter if she's been ran through. It don't matter if she's, you know, it don't, none of that shit matter. As long as a body with a fucking hole is listening. He feels like a man. I'm beating my chest on a drum. I'm beating my drums, my chest. He's beating his chest because in his mind, he is a man. In his mind, he's a man. You're not a man. You are not a man. 
You know what I mean? Because you're telling bitches anything. You don't tell them right from wrong. You will tell them anything. You're not a man. Real men stand on the truth and what's right. Period. He lived his life in order. So he's, he's not going to have things that's wrong around him. Because all he's going to do is bring toxic. Then he, you know, all the other shit. He can see clearly. You understand what I'm saying? But they will say anything. And that's the problem today. That's that's a lot of problems I hear. But nowadays, it seems like content creators instead of appealing to women now they're trying to appeal to men don't you notice that 90 percent of content is telling me any fucking thing to make you feel good just look at the titles i read one title i laughed out loud um you are a king and you deserve a queen excuse me you will never see that fucking title over here I don't fucking know you. That's delusional. Are you trying to say that I'm delusional and my subscribers are delusional? I'm not delusional. I don't know you and you don't know me. I don't know what you deserve. You know what you deserve. My job is to point out things you may not see in your life. That's my job. My job is not to stroke your fucking ego. My job is not to tell, tell you that your dick is 12 inch, nigga. I'm not holding your dick so you can piss. I ain't doing that. The other bitch should do that shit on this platform. I ain't holding your dick so you can piss. They are literally holding your goddamn dick nowadays on this goddamn platform. I ain't doing that shit. I'm different. <laughs> That's why they call me China White. I'm throwing fuck. This, the content nowadays is too, it's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. I laugh at that shit. I'm like, God damn, they trolling like a motherfucker. And y'all get trolled like a motherfucker around here. That's why I don't have a problem with going back and forth in my chat. Y'all, they come in my goddamn chat with that bullshit. They come in my goddamn comment section with the bullshit. I'll be like, okay, either you either you can you can go back and forth on my content. But what you're not going to do is you're not going to attack me personally. What the fuck? That's some beta shit. But I'm not sitting and holding nobody dick so they can piss. Sorry, fam. And a lot of these bitches be married. You got married bitches on here holding holding all y'all goddamn dick so y'all can piss. I ain't doing that shit. You got me fucked up. The next one. 